been a while since I last uploaded a video, but I've not been completely lazy during that time. I just recently did a podcast with Corwin Bainbridge on his fascinating railway series called Railway Mania, and I'll put a link in the description below. I've also written an article for a German railway magazine about my adventures searching for industrial steam locomotives around Manchester. Last summer, Steve Jackson had his annual coal-fired weekend, where he gets a bunch of friends together to practice the fine arts of coal-firing these little steam engines, raising steam and getting them to run properly. The first engine I noticed was Richard's Welshpool and Clanvire Railway Countess, built by Tolhurst Engineering. A superb scale model in every way, running on G-scale track. Richard was struggling to get his coal to light. So how many engines do you have? Two. Um, coal fired? No, the other one's gas. Which do you prefer? The gas at the minute. <laughs> Recently acquired, he's on a steep learning curve. Tag Gordon was there with his engine and a lot of experience. So what, what would your secret be to uh, running a coal-fired live coal, steamer? Coal, uh, patience. But again, you know, patience. Uh, being used to burning your hands and, and uh, it's not like a gas-fired locomotive. And the gas-fired locomotive, you put gas in and you light it and you just adjust to accord, according to what you're going to do. But these, once, once you've got it going, everything is working and the pump is working and, and, and uh, you fire regularly, it sort of settles down and you can keep going for a couple of hours. And it's great. I had a, a John Shaw loco and I ran it for two hours solid up at Pico because um, somebody didn't turn up. Richard was still struggling. So Tag gave him some encouragement. It takes ages. You tend to go off in too much of a hurry. I did, and, and the fire just goes. Yeah, because you, you know, it's still a charcoaly fire. Mm. So you keep putting coal in, and keep putting water in, and you can keep that up for half an hour. Yeah. And you get a really deep fire. Graham was already up and running with his coal-fired roundhouse variant and keeping a close eye on the water level. A squirt bottle is a very handy device. A nice bright fire is what every coal-fired loco owner wants to see. There she goes. One more lap, I'm out of water. The fire in Richard's Countess had gone out again before the coal has lit, so he now drops the grate and starts over again. Unburnt coal coming out is not a good sign. So you can't get the grate out completely? No, it just drops down. You see it there and it's hinged on the other end. Well, how you do any maintenance on these things, I don't know if you need to. An envious glance at a passing loco with a head of steam. Then Chris gets his loco out.
while Ian struggles a bit with getting a good fire going. Have you put the coal on yet? Oh yeah, I've started putting the coal on, but it's um, not burning soon in a hurry. But you've had it in the steam before? Oh yeah, yes, yeah, it was running yesterday, fine. This is a DJB engineering Robert. So did you buy the whole locomotive from DJB? No, I bought the kit. Oh, assemble it yourself? Oh yeah. Seems to be eager to go. I'm not a bit really a glow in the fire yet, then. Chris is now out on the track with his roundhouse Lady Anne. Steve, our host, brings his Russell to the steaming bay to show how he does it. <laughs> While Chris's Lady Anne runs past. No matter how much expertise you have, there's still a bit of tension getting the first shovel full of coal alight. Screw. Oh, around there? Yeah. Well, I've started this carefully. The, um... We've got a slope here just before the signal. Steve does a bit of shunting to get his train ready. Notice the wonderful point levers on the right. His engine is manually controlled. Now Ian is getting his engine on the move. I enjoyed the day even though I wasn't able to show off my Russell. Steve's track is 45mm gauge rather than the narrower 32 I use. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. See you here next time.